All right, guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be the start of um, most likely a quite lengthy development. So as you may have seen through all the Instagram posts I've been doing um, and a few teasers on stories, you know that I am going to go really heavy into the microfiber line next. I always bang on so many times that microfiber is probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest invention within the car care industry within the last 10 to 15 years. So with premium microfiber, you know that one, it comes at a cost, and two, there's only a handful of places in the world where you can get the best towers from. Now, as you all know, our towers are currently made to our spec. They are unbelievable. Now, I thought, can you beat it? I think we may have found the next level and probably the final level. Now, with this video, as you can see, the car's still wet. It's got uh, deionized water, so don't worry nothing's going to dry and in this video i'm going to basically take you through what i've pretty much chosen about nine or twelve don't quote me on this options and the reason why the number is fairly high is i've decided to try and go as deep as i can with a towel line for pretty much every purpose i'm talking wheels door jams glass specifics, drying specifics, um, a lot of paint towels, so short nap, plush nap, long nap, open microfiber, split microfiber. So there is a lot of different blends involved. Now, I've used a few of their towel offerings already. Now this is, first of all, it's a double twist loop, as you can see. First of all, the size, let's talk about the size. It is huge, right? But um they've done a weird blend to it so it is still heavy i think it's 1300 of, no wrong 1400 gsm which is probably the biggest towel you can currently get in the world but when you look even at the smaller things the cuts the stitching the actual consistency of the microfiber it's nothing like i've ever seen before so this is why i immediately perked my interest now the price of these towels is astronomical both at retail and at manufacturer level so I am going to kind of have to crunch numbers, but then again, numbers mean like relatively nothing to me because at the end of the day, if I can find something that is truly amazing, I'm going to introduce it to you guys. So let's try this. This is going to be a, a two part episode. So all in one, however, I'm going to do some of it outside and I'm going to do some of it inside. Again, I'm going to break the towels as best as I can. I'm going to put on the worst paint sealants let them cure and let's see what happens. Now, I've always said this and I will continue up until something changes, go to the grave with this statement. But I've always said there is two of the best blends of microfiber to dry cars with. It is Waffle Weave, which we currently have, and also the Twist Loop. Now, if anybody argues this point, they don't know that much because there are companies that do um, like a really, really plush towels. And I won't mention names, but there are, there are quite a few famous companies who kind of have stuck with this Chinese towel for a very long time. And there has been quite a few complaints. Weight, water absorbency goes within probably the first three to five washes of the towel, etc., etc. Now, Twist Loop, I have been exploring this for around a year, maybe a little bit more. And I've been resisting it and resisting it. <laughs> However, I think now, especially once I've seen this, this is the most premium offering that I currently have in testing. I don't think this will ever be beaten. Now, as you can see, the car's wet. It's ultra hydrophobic. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a few things. First of all, we're gonna do the usual trademark um, drag method. Now, look, the towel itself's quite big, yeah. Um, now what's going to happen now I've actually this is the only towel I haven't actually used itself so this towel has been washed out the pack it's been dried correctly and it's good to go so let's have a look oh la la look at that that does not lie interesting again very nice very very nice now this is what the wet side of the towel looks like to normal people wow okay so it's picked up the it's 
picked up the beads actually so there's a beading kind of pattern you can see looks like I've been shooting at this towel now again let's try and use the full weight of the towel so I've just flipped the side and as you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently massage the paint boom that's how it's done very nice and I expect this is going to dry the whole car now you've seen a close-up so what I'm going to do for the sake of time I'm going to actually dry the car like I normally would now have you noticed I'm not using the detail spray as a drying head and this is because when we get this inside I'm going to put some um, kind of toppers sealants on the car so it's not going to inhibit anything so if anything is going to get stuck in terms of the removal of the towel we will see this more evidently rather than in a horrible paint sealant kind of sitting on a slick surface um, and actually giving me the false reading so what's interesting is I've got a towel in there which is probably thicker than this but what's interesting this is more ergonomic now I don't really mind because again I'll give you an example, a lot of people complain about the twist loop for this, they go, oh, it's going to hit the floor. So what I like to do is you just hold the top, just dry like any other towel. It's literally no difference. If you know what you're doing, it's fairly easy. <laughs> now, if you want to see the size of this towel, I mean, look, unbelievable. So drag, dry, lovely. Now, as well, a lot of kind of people will show a demonstration of a towel drag. But what they don't realize is a lot of the time it's really clever angles. As you've seen in glass, this is tinted glass and it hasn't left a single streak, which is nice. But then again, if I was to be using a topper, it wouldn't really matter because I would probably use the two towel method anyway. Beautiful. Now, the car is pretty much dry, a few, a few bits this side, and as you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, look how many light grey spots there are still. So, it basically means it's probably used a quarter of its absorbency. Before I tried this towel, um, I guessed that it probably would have took around three cars you know, if you want to really, let's say you've got a line of wet cars, you could probably get three, maybe four. It depends on the size of the car, the protection levels on the car. But yeah, this is the first towel. Again, that's a, I'd say this is a tick in my box. Now, another funny thing as I'm drying the car, let me get your wider pan, is I've been doing a bit of research. I always troll websites. I mean, as you know, I have to go and buy products to test anyway. So while I'm on there, I'll do a troll on a few resellers or companies' website, but mainly not the resellers because it's not their fault because they have to kind of work off the margin, the brand, the specific brand will give them. But brand-wise, I've seen so many and it's unbelievable. So many companies sell, you know, claimed 1400 GSM, it's South Korean, which it's not. Um, at like 12 quid. Uh, it's, it's literally, it's, it's impossible. You can't sell a proper towel of this size, it's, it's origin as well, at 12 pounds. It's like, you actually can't because you'd actually be losing money. And this is before we do any sort of shipping quotes, import tax, all that sort of stuff. So pricing does actually say a lot of exactly where they're getting the towels from, which again, it doesn't matter because if you're that way inclined then you want to offer a cheap towel, great. But yeah, I've, I've looked and it's actually truly unbelievable. So, cause I know how much this towel is going to be worth and it's not going to be 12 pound or 13 pound. So the car's inside and one you can see in front of me now is 
roughly around two years of research, acquiring different samples, different blends, and just general headache. Now, the reason why I say headache is because if you look at anybody, ask anybody and say, point them to a picture of this, they'll say it's a, a cloth, a microfiber cloth, and not all towels are made the same, as I'm sure you're aware. Now, with this, I have been tirelessly looking for a potential complete microfiber package where you would go anywhere from the wheels, the washing of wheels, door jams, removal of polishes, waxes of different grades in terms of easiness of use. So you need obviously different cuts of microfiber and the way they blend it is completely unique. Um, so I'm going to walk you through and most importantly behind me obviously you've got the GTS and what you're going to see is I'm going to put um, each towel to the test. I've already pre-applied a very notoriously hard wax to play with. Um, it's silica infused and it's been on the car for around 50 minutes, so way longer past the curing time that is recommended. But if anything's going to throw it, it's going to be this wax. And let's see what happens. So you don't know the results. I don't know the results. We're going to take um, some of our products. We're going to over apply them, under apply them and see basically what happens. So on the left, you've obviously seen uh, the double twist loop already in action. It is a truly, yeah, I'm impressed for the weight of the towel. Rather than going super big, like I said already, I've got thicker towels than this in the cupboard. However, it's, it brings its own problems. Whereas with this, it's, it's light yet very, very absorbent. So that towel is a tick. Now, you may see some of the colors may seem the same, but they're not. First of all, I've got three edgeless towels. Now, looking at it from my angle, in fact, I'm gonna do it this way. So from, I'm not gonna read any specs to you. We're gonna do it live and see what happens. So this is the lightest of the towels. Again, it's edgeless. It's plush, it's very soft, it's very nice. Um, let's see its absorbency power with some of the polishes and waxes. Again, in the middle, it's got a thicker pile, again. And you can see that it's a different microfiber structure to the first towel, and it's also heavier. So you can, obviously, when you fold it up like this, you can put a bit more weight behind you. And then the third variant, once again, is even thicker, but this is two, two towels sewn together so very thick but again not as heavy as some of the towels that i've got in there that are probably about a thousand gsm this is in the 700 region and it doesn't feel kind of that weight so two towels blended together so it's still a 30 by 30 as usual but you can probably see by the thickness in comparison to something like this which is very probably won't be able to see this on camera. So yes, two towels in one. We've got to be, I'm interested in this one. I don't like super heavy towels. I've tried thousands of them and I've always had the same result. Some are better than others, of course, but I just think where you're going to kind of use this, but with the way that we're developing the car care line, a final wipe towel has to be included into kind of the lineup because it's just nice especially when you put a slick sealant down you remove it and you know that final wipe if you've got anything it's just super sick i can't describe to you the feeling but this might be the towel now the fourth towel this is something i have personally never seen before and when when i specced it and I looked at it and I thought, okay, this might be an interesting towel. So this reminds me of, what's the best way? Because I know you can't feel it through camera, but you know one of them cats that's got no hair on his body or like a snake. So it's a very flat, it's got absolutely no fiber whatsoever. Look at that towel. So it's completely flat and it's a very dense pile microfiber. However, if you were to peel it apart, you can see obviously it starts to split. So again, 30 by 30, just like how I like it. Now this is kind of um, a woven in on itself edge. So the 
took it around so it's not it's edgeless obviously but it's they've woven it around the edges so it's basically super smooth oh, but before i continue the one thing i did notice because by the way to get custom towels manufactured to your spec in a very low quantity like this is very expensive so to get the cuts and the blends the way they did is already an indicator to me that i think i'm onto something special but again it's not how they look it's not always how they feel it's the third part as well as how they perform on a car so this i am really not sure on but again i may be surprised um if you remember my christmas video you saw that i was chasing something now finally i've got something in here so this is the same blend as do, 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 it's this towel no i'm wrong it's the first towel so it's the same blend as this however it's in a mint now again can you remember the last video i showed you that it was really tight and was horrible now this is spec to my hands i've got big hands but look at this super soft and it comes on very easily i'll show you again boom so if you are doing door jams potentially or you're getting really low into the car look the same falling off your hands so you can really reach down low and make something happen with this so this could be application of say yum ceramic yum detailer also the removal if you have two mitts like this so it's i think this is quite cool if i'm honest not many people have this um kind of style but i think we might be the ones to have it also two-sided microfiber these are a dime a dozen in the market now if you look you can find probably a cheap alternative to this now the first again this is the first plush side we'll call it is the same consistency as these edgeless towels but it's still a different blend so it almost looks like noodle i'm trying to explain in the most dumbed down version as possible you know like noodle mitt it's got straight fibers that kind of curling on themselves so this is going to be you can use it like so obviously wipe the car down but also it comes with an optional secondary um side and it's a completely different consistency so the plush and the short nap towel and this again this can be used for removing or leveling it depends which way you prefer it i'll probably use this again as the first wipe the plush side more of a final wipe this is the plushest most premium style of towel i could ever think of to manufacture in this blend so we will see um oh, before i get into these these are so cool so this i've been doing a lot of thinking research is i think in the line you need to have a truly utilitarian utilitarian towel and basically you could use it for your dirtiest jobs so it's a wheels obviously in a different color um door jams or it's very hard to make a, a super kind of plush short nap paint safe towel now obviously i've got a black car which has been fully corrected now this would be the perfect test if i scratch my own car then again it's my problem but this will these towels will tell all on a pretty much flawless car that do their scratch now with the short naps like this the super light look they're just you can scrunch them up in any way it doesn't really matter now with the short naps what i sometimes have to do so if you've got a really sticky compound or finish and polish or something like that then you sometimes the plush is almost too soft i'm sure for the people who view this video i've seen a lot of videos you would have seen that sometimes when you use a product and it sticks or the weather the sun's just peaked out and something just dries on your car and a plush towel just sometimes is too nice i know it's weird saying this but it's it's actually the truth so sometimes you need to bring out a bit more of an aggressive cut aggressive not for the pain but for the product more like a samurai sword slice right through it now these is what i think this is going to be for again you can use them for the interior the glass and stuff like that 100 of the glass will be amazing um so we're gonna probably i'm gonna obviously try it but 
the one I'm really interested in is that wax that has been sat there now probably for an hour and let's see how these do. It'll be very interesting. And what you see in this corner now, this, I don't know why, but this has got me excited the most. This is, God, this is not even enough for a tea towel or like a toilet towel. This is absolutely tiny. Look, it's the size of one side of the towels. Look at that. Just slightly wider, but so basically this is the same consistency and the same blend as my um, double twist loop and basically the, we have made this into a super small size as you can see I can pretty much get my hand in but again twist loop super absorbent it's one of those blends that is just unbelievable for just guzzling water and sometimes you look at it and think how can a towel of this kind of especially of this weight in, in this size absorb so much water so it's the same thing you can say about the, the waffle weaves super thin towel but water just seems to disappear off the paint um, but the reason we've done this again I'm, 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 I'm a big proponent of the final wipe limit the wipes obviously as much as you can because the more you touch the car the more potential you've got scratching the car but for example under the wing mirrors you can come in dress your tires all like all that sort of stuff and you'll get a few drips okay out the boot jams and stuff like that so this is where you would take a little bit of your favorite kind of finishing spray but in our line young detailer you would just wipe it down now the beauty of this is it absorbs water great but it also absorbs product great so if you've put too much on accidentally this will kind of mop up the residue very nicely so i'm actually quite stoked about this because again wheel drying door jam drying it's it's going to be i think a very popular towel and now onto a few of the niche things now again we've got a very good hex rip applicator very very nice but then i'm thinking do i make something super small and super soft i mean look I, you now can't see it in my hand and it comes back in this perfect shape every time so very nice foam and it's a dual sided so you, you've got a slightly bigger side here and a more of a recess side so it kind of goes down into itself so if you've got a small pot you can twist it or if you've got a bigger pot you can do this so this is interesting but then again it is um merely a wax applicator but it's the foam i'm just feeling the foam and it's very nice i know this looks very creepy me squeezing foam shapes everywhere but yeah very nice um, another applicator but this time what i've done is i've gone for the plushest uh microfiber that you can get i mean literally this feels like you're feeling cushions you know them very expensive cushions um at uh, dfs or something you know when you walk past the shop you see like a white cushion feel it this is truly unbelievable so probably something for the young wax um we'll trial it i don't know um this but it's nice it's, it's very soft and now leading on to something that is interior specific right Listen to this. This basically feels like um, a face exfoliation pad. It's quite rough, but it's not like metal rough, okay? So it's, it's a very fine thing. Again, I had to choose. I've never seen one of these ever. So I basically had to, had to choose, I think it was four different options, but each option changed the second option and so forth. So we kind of played around with the blends, weight, etc. So we've, we've come up with this and basically it is an exfoliation mitt. It's for the interior. You can use it for, again, it fits around my hand perfectly. This is what it's designed for. Now I've got big hands, so if it fits on my hand, it's going to fit on your hand. Um, so it's, look, just hear this. So the seat that I'm sat on is a leather seat. And that's how it sounds. So it, it has just enough bite, I think. So rather than potentially getting a full detailing brush out and a full set and agitate, and you can probably spray a little bit of human interior onto this, hammer it down. So, and I hazard a guess, 
if you struggle cleaning glass or you vape a lot so for example we're vapors we vape in cars um, this is almost like a magic scrub pad on the glass now this will be a very interesting test that I will do is where I will put a little bit of glass cleaner onto this and just clean the windscreen on the inside. The outside's fairly easy to clean. So yes, there's a few more bits, which is gonna be probably on a new video or another video. So obviously you have to keep watching all my videos. It'll probably be more on a longer style video because I can get to test it. But for now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towel variations, all different blends, sizes, and material, and I've got two applicators, an interior utensil. I've got another two UT, uh, interior items that, again, I'm not gonna show you now because the video will be way too long. And yes, let's crack on. So let's get this party going. As you can see, this wax, yeah, it's gonna be tacky. I can feel the tackiness of it already. Um, this wax, a lot of people struggle with, and I thought, if anything's gonna break, like I said, it's gonna be this one. So again, first towel, let's see what it does. No pressure, that's the main thing. Most towels will remove it with pressure. Nice, very nice. So again, let me go back around with the, with the wax side. I don't know if you can see this. So look, I'm literally not putting anything on and I'm gonna just use circular motions just to get this off and then in straight lines it's nice so you do that and then you would go into the dry side boom perfect now as always let's check is it leaving any scratches no scratches is it leaving any of that horrific um solvent pop no, it's, it's just slicing right through it. So towel number one is a tick. Now, while I'm on this, again, in fact, I'll show you a closer up of this. So this is a very strange composition. And let's do a third of the bonnet. Now, when you fold this into fours, you can actually, because of the type of towel that it is, there, look, it's not as, in fact, it is effective. I don't know, I was about to say it's not as effective as the first towel, but, hmm, interesting. Right, okay, so that's removing. I think this towel will need, I'll flip it so I just don't forget. It's had a wax side on. So, this will be interesting. Let's have a look. So this is the lightest edgeless plush towel. It's picking it up, but then again, see, because now of the plushness, I'm starting to feel a drag. Interesting. So far, so good, guys. <laughs> So far, so good. Very nice. Just ugh, the towel softness is just, but then look, so I'll give you an example. I'm giving it, so this side's obviously wax. It's got wax on, but if you were to do a final wipe, this is what I'm looking for. So again, there. It's just, I'm just starting to hear that resistance now. Look, I'm not putting any pressure on again. See, it's just starting to smear it, which is interesting. Okay, so it's starting to now struggle the more you go up in the fiber lengths and the plushness. Now this is the heavier, so this is 2001. Can you see this spot here? I'm going over it and it's taking me way more passes than the previous towels. Right. Okay. 
So again, as you saw, the more I get on with the thickness of the towel, the more it's starting to not struggle. You can wipe it again. I'm not saying that it's bad, but you saw just how effective a shorter nap towel was starting to cut through the paint. Test number two. So again, I'm gonna flip this. So I've got an even side. So what I'm gonna do is pre-prime the trigger. There we go. Four, five, five. So I've got, I've got five sprays. All right, so first impressions, the glide talking from the towel not from the product the products always slick anyway but certain towels are different oh yeah I was just picking it right up lovely lovely jubbly in fact look I'm going to try and make this as unbiased as I can but look I'm running my hand over it now with the dry side and then I go on to this side which isn't coated in new ceramic so one second it's yeah there's a huge difference so towel one of the plush is winner towel two so we already flipped this now let's use it how I would use it so one good primer and a secondary one just for good measure spread it immediately flip and buff yeah very nice yeah that is lovely I'm impressed with that just make sure I haven't pushed anything anywhere just to check if it's leaving anything behind no I'm getting crystal Crispness, crispness. Oh, that's interesting. Have I not wiped this properly or is it leaving something behind? Probably me. Yeah, that's nice. Again, I'm trying to do this as unbiased as I can. So have you noticed I'm not using the same areas? because again, it will affect the result. So this time I've moved on to one spray. So each area has its own treatment. In fact, this towel is so thick, look. <laughs> Even the application is applied and removed it in one go. And then the soft side, I mean the dry side is gonna now. Oh yes. Now this, I'm going to try and do a breaking point test. I'm going to over apply the Yum Ceramic. So look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Just make sure it doesn't drop on my floor. So look, this is the weird fish scale texture. Yeah. So there's, there's the streaking. Let me just get as much streaking as I can. Now again, wet side, dry side. So as you can see, there's the streaks. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. I'm just trying to see what one wipe. Yeah, see that's cutting right through it. Very nice. Because <laughs> You either have a very short nap towel that you know it's going to do what it's meant to do because it's short nap, and then you've got the plush towels which again will do what they kind of look like they're going to do. Whereas this, this just looks like an alien towel. It almost looks like suede or Alcantara. It's a very interesting towel. Now obviously I've got some overspray on my paint because I spread it directly onto the panel. This will be interesting. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Now what 
I'm doing is I'm probably making it harder for myself. I'll just re-wet the surface. Yep, yeah, and it's gone. There's a life hack for you. If you get a bit of overspray, just re-wet the area with the product that you're using, whether it's wax sealing, detail spray, spray waxes. Just re-wet it to activate it and just give it a buff. Now, interesting. So I'm gonna try the mitt. This is my creation, so I'm quite excited about this. In fact, I'm excited about all the towels because, you know, we have spec them and designed them. However, I've talked about a mitt for quite a while. So imagine, you just want to wipe your car down. You've washed it, you know, you want to add a bit of gloss or you've got a bit of streaking or whatever, or water spots. So again, I'm just going to pre-prime my glove. So again, the detail spray, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's actually very interesting because you can actually feel the paint. You're almost like touching the car, but you're not. And then, even though it's all evaporated, oh hey. Too slick. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I love towels. This is the weirdest video you'll ever see of a man playing with microfiber. But, oh, yes. Again, if you don't want to have it on your hand, you can just use it almost like a wash pad. Massage it in, and boom, look at that one wipe. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and have a break. So before I do this, I'm gonna over apply a wax. Another wax this is. So it's not a show wax or anything like that. This is a fully heavy duty wax. Well, it's a synthetic wax. So as you can see, I've put way too much on. And I'm gonna wait around 40, 45 minutes. Now, currently in the UK, it's about 23 degrees. So the ambient temperature within this facility is warm, basically. So the reason I say this is because the solvents within this wax will gas off very, very quickly, which will then give me an indication when it starts airing out with all the solvent gone, it's gonna start baking into the panel and if you're in the winter time, you might have to wait a few more hours without wiping it to let it set up in a brake test anyway. So look, nice and thick. Boom, fantastic. Oh, it smells lovely. So it's been a good 40 minutes, maybe 45. <sighs> Let's have a look, see? Still no wiping clean. This wax never cures right. Um, so, first of all, the double-sided towel. Let's try the plush side first. Plush side only and see what happens. Ooh la la, look at that. No pressure, boom. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. And then we'll take this side which should yeah look at that boom 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 it's just one wipe wow one wipe amazing and then you can take it and just go wax 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 done unbelievable that's how it's done my friends so I've concluded this is going to be a very dangerous video for my bank balance because I want them all. <laughs> I want them all. And obviously, because we're going to make a towel, well, the dream is eventually is to make a towel for every application of the car, which means some towels, because they're that good, you're going to have to have a few towels in different colors. Now, obviously, you've got minimum orders required. Now, when you're talking, tens of thousands of towels 
and then you change the colour and get another tens of thousands of towels. Um, luckily, we've taken on more kind of warehousing space, which is always a bonus. However, <laughs> it's just cost is going to be astronomical. But, like with everything, you've taken my word on the products, the accessories so far, and you've all been happy. And you'll have to take my word for this. I'm going to do, obviously, this is going to be uh, months and months of testing. I'm going to wash them, break them, use them again, see if it's scratching blacks. That's obviously the main test. And then it um, looks like we're going to kind of expand the microfiber line, but oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, just look how cute this is. It's just, oof, but the quality. Let me turn down the aperture. There we go. Look at that. The cut level. I mean, so you've got the double twist loop technology. It's very nice. So because this is such a small towel, you can obviously hold it like this. I would recommend just doing probably, it's first time I've used all these towels pretty much. And it's, I'm pleasantly shocked. So again, a bit of detail spray, mist the car down. So if you do want to do a wipe down. Oh, yes. Guys, I can't, I can't tell you just how much in heaven that I am. It's... It's just a dream to <laughs> approach a factory and say, look, make me the best possible potential towel that can exist. Um, people will say, well, why, why don't the bigger companies do this? You know, the, the top one or two kind of car care brands in the world do this. And there's a, I think there's a very simple answer is because they don't want that cost. They can, yes, they can afford it. However, it's just the margins are going to get hit more and more because price goes up. If your margin's here, see, the margin is starting to shorten. And to me, I don't care if I make less money. Yes, we're a business, but I mean, the quality, well, I always, with some of my mentors that I constantly ask questions for and to say the same thing, you know, once you take care of the quality and the customer service, the rest will follow the money, the kind of the growth of the company organically, of course, it, it'll, it'll take part in, in due course, like they say. So it's just a dream. I mean, like, like I thought, this is the, the wet side. Oh, it smells lovely. The detail spray is unbelievable. Um, as I thought, when you spray it on, the wet side itself is actually acting as a drying towel, obviously, and it's spreading, but slash absorbing it at the same time. So, you know, rather than potentially having two towels, I would always recommend two towels anyway, but because I'm putting so little on at the minute, I can get away with the one towel, but it's, it's absorbing and removing almost the residue. And then you take your dry side, and you just give this a wipe. So cool. So guys, like I said, I think this could be quite dangerous for the bank balance of the business, but it can also be very exciting news for you. Um, I just wanted to bring you on the initial journey of, of the travels. Like I said, we've probably got double this in the development cupboard still, which has been unseen by you, of course, but it'll probably be on future wash and talk videos and just, I need to do more testing and I'm not gonna film all the towel ranges like you've noticed, I didn't do the interior or the super soft applicator because I'm running out of spaces of the car to do neat testing of each product on. So I'll probably wash it, try some more kind of applications, but so far from what I've seen is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, got nine towel types that we've just tried different sizes different blends different obviously applications and 
they've all excelled in their specific task and this is why I will tell you that you're going to have all these towels for different categories because let's say the medium so, so not the thinnest yet yeah, not the thickest so the medium towel it struggled a little bit on that ceramic wax test which again is fine because you can use this for a detail spray application but then you wouldn't use this little mini beauty as I call it now to remove wax because it's not designed for that so every part of the car is going to be covered hopefully um, if we can't do it in one hit we'll probably do it in multiple hits in terms of just keep introducing the towel lines um, and that means the microfiber packages are always going to grow and grow and obviously we're still under development of the of our version of the microfiber wash we've got that many variations now to try and crack only because you've got waxes silicates within the waxes um, you've got polymers and detail sprays or sealants within the spray sealant category so these things that we want to try and work around to remove from the towel while restoring the towel without killing the fiber because there's so many times you know you take a cheap towel you wash it and it just it feels like this almost so yeah, I need to moisturize my hands. I'm working with too many chemicals. So eventually the microfiber package is going to be huge and it's going to give you an ability to buy it all as a wanna or again, over time, kind of build microfiber. But with this, like I always keep harping on, I'm not even selling this yet, but it's so important to build the towel collection to where you've got 30, 40 exterior towels. Same for the interior because it's the biggest thing I think in the whole game is to have your towel kind of collection and assortment really kind of perfected. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's, it's very interesting to me to let you in a little bit to the whole development side. I will probably do another video where you'll see me reusing towels with different paint types and see what happens but please i'm always curious leave your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below i'm curious am i on the right path here am i going too far or am i just playing crazy uh rubbing my face on towels but any comments please just hit them into the comment section below and as always i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will catch you on next week's episode cheers guys and take care